Today, our viewer has asked, are the ingredients in shampoo, body lotions, et cetera, something that get absorbed through our skin? Important question. And the short answer is yes, uh, they certainly can. Uh, and that alone tells us that in, in this case, less is more. When I'm in the store looking to buy a new shampoo, man, I look at that label and I see what's on the back. And I just want to see you know, basically soap and water, you know, basically. And there are some very good, quote, natural products. You won't name any brand names here. But if you look, there were just a couple of ingredients in the back, much better than one that that has 12, 15 different ingredients that you need a chemistry degree to decipher. Man, uh, I really wouldn't uh, be putting that on my skin. Now, that said, there are some people who take that to a far extreme there because you got to get, you know, let some scientific reality, you know, get in. You know, how much of that, if you're just putting, you know, a, a, a tablespoon of shampoo on your hair, you know, how much of those constituents really gets absorbed? How quickly does the liver take it out? Do they really do much damage at all? Uh, especially compared to if you're drinking wine or if you're eating junk foods or you're working in a polluted environment uh, in a paint factory, uh, there's the little bit of fragrance that might be in your body lotion, you know, probably, you know, it's fairly small. But in this age of living in this chemical soup that we do, there's, there's pollutants in the air that we breathe and the water that we drink and the foods that we eat. Why add to that if you can avoid it? So in general, uh, keep these kind of uh, products as, as lean and clean as possible with the fewest ingredients. Uh, and if it says, you know, soap, water, and fragrance, you, just, you don't know what that fragrance is, but it's better than, you know, 15 uh, you know, benzoconium chloride type ingredients there. So keep it to a minimum uh, and don't drive yourself nuts over it. So we live in uh, in a world where there's lots of these kind of chemicals, but but hold them to a minimum. Keep, you know, wash your hands with soap as basic, or basic soap as best you can there. And, uh, and uh, keep these uh, polluting molecules to a minimum, but don't, don't lose much sleep over them either. I think they're a fairly minor contributor to the chemical onslaught that we all face on a daily basis. Yes, absolutely. And if I could just add to that too, I think that it's a, a misunderstanding that the more ingredients, the better. Sometimes that's how they're advertised. Oh, there's this and this so that your skin or your hair looks like this and this. Like you said, just some soap and water. A lot of the time, it's just fine. It's all you yeah. need. Yeah, that's a good point. Because as you start piling these ingredients up, they may start acting synergistically. We don't know what happened when oil of thyme and oil of myrrh get into your bloodstream when they meet up in your liver. We don't really don't know what they do together there. I'm not saying that these are necessarily evil molecules, but just in, just in general, I would hold them to a minimum. As you rightly said, more is not necessarily better. So uh, keep it lean and clean as best you can. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.